My Lords, we now come to the third oral question. Baroness Bennett of Manor Castle. I beg leave to ask the question standing under my name on the order paper. I call the Minister, Lord Bethel. My Lords, to address the consumption of food and drinks, um, high in fat, sugar and salt, Public Health England oversees the Sugar Reduction and Wider Reformulation Programme on behalf of the government, as set out in the three chapters of the Child Obesity Plan and the 2019 Prevention Green Paper, Advancing Our Health Prevention in the 2020s. In addition, the government provides healthy eating advice through the Eat Well Guide, social marketing campaigns, and food and procurement, food procurement and catering guidance. Baroness Bennett of Manor Castle. I thank the noble Lord the Minister for his answer, but I'm disappointed that he did not use in that answer the term ultra-processed foods. Um, they represent 57% of the calories in the British diet. And we have seen in the last couple of years three studies I'm going to quote briefly. A US study, ultra-processed foods cause excess calorie intake and weight gain. A French study, 10% increase in intake results in 14% increase in death. A UK study, 10% increase in intake results in an 18% risk of obesity for men. This is a new, relatively new area of science, but does the government not understand that we have to acknowledge that these ultra palatable foods designed not to satisfy have to be part of what the Prime Minister says is going to be a new focus on tackling obesity? My Lord, uh, the Noble Baroness makes her point well. The National Food Strategy Team was investigating the health risks associated with a diet heavy in ultra-processed foods when the pandemic began. The National Food Strategy Team is in the process of restarting and will return to the question of ultra-processed foods in its final report, currently planned to be published over the winter. I now call Baroness Young of Old Schoon. My Lord, Baroness Bennett has demonstrated that there's a bigger killer on the block than COVID, and that's ultra-processed foods. COVID has increased the focus on the need to reduce obesity and diabetes and promote healthy eating, but we've run out of road on the sort of voluntary approaches that the Minister has just described. Will the government now regulate for rapid reformulations of ultra-processed foods? The responsible supermarkets want a regulated level playing field so that they can get on with helping us all avoid what is now the biggest cause of premature deaths, and that is the consumption of ultra-processed foods. The noble Baroness is entirely right that COVID focuses our minds on obesity and the road of diet. However, voluntary approaches are necessary. We have to take people, industry and government with us. That is the core of our approach, and it will remain our approach. I now call Baroness Wormsley. My Lords, will the Prime Minister's proposed obesity strategy include the full range of obesity services up to Tier 4 in all areas, plus prevention measures such as calorie labelling, portion size, reformulation and the restriction of price promotions for HFS, HFSS foods? And will there be independent evaluation of the measures to be proposed? My Lords, I, it's not my role to preempt the Prime Minister's um, uh, strategy formulation, but the Noble Baroness does articulate uh, a very reasonable list of potential measures. We are very focused in this area. We are uh, measuring ourselves keenly and our objectives are, are very clearly laid out and our focus is very much on making, uh, getting movement in this important area. I now call the Earl of Caithness. My Lords, I hope my noble friend the Minister is as saddened as I am that we eat more ultra-processed food in this country than any other country in Europe. That is a shameful position to be in. Clearly the government policy is not working. Would he consider discussing with his noble friend in Treasury introducing VAT on ultra-processed food? My Lords, um, uh I completely agree with my noble friend that Britain's record on obesity and the diet that we as a country eat uh, is not one that we uh, can celebrate or be proud of. Um, the uh, sugar tax um, has proved to be a successful measure. It shows the government's determination to uh, make progress in this area and, if necessary, 
to use fiscal means to make that progress. I now call Baroness Boycott. Um, my Lords, there is no doubt that HSF food is unhealthy, particularly <clears throat> for young children who are showing such alarming rates of obesity. We also, also know that advertising works. Yet recent research from Cancer UK shows that over half of all food adverts on TV during children's peak viewing hours, six to nine, are for high sugar fat processed food, while less than one in 15 are for fruit and vegetables. Now, the consultation on whether the government would introduce a nine o'clock watershed for such adverts was completed and delivered in June 2019. Could the minister please update the House on the progress of this consultation and tell us when we are likely to hear the government's response? The Noble Baroness is right that the consultation is an important one. We take it very seriously. COVID, though, has been disruptive. Uh, but I can reassure the Noble Baroness that we will be responding to the consultation on extending advertising restrictions as soon as we possibly can. I now call Baroness Wheeler. Um, my Lords, can I, I focus on the issue of food labelling? Um, does the Noble Lord, the Minister, share my concern that it can be very difficult to recognise ultra-processed foods in the supermarket? Even a sugary, multi-coloured breakfast cereal can state that it's a good source of, source of fibre and made with whole grains. What consideration has the government made of improving the food labelling process by adding the NOVA system of food classification, which divides the foods we buy into four groups, from unprocessed to ultra-processed? Wouldn't this help to foster consumer awareness of how much pro and processed foods they and their families are eating? I, my Lord, I completely agree with the Noble Baroness that labelling is absolutely critical. We have made huge progress in this area already. Um, and it is eye-opening to study the labels on some foods. And I agree with her that some uh, supermarket products that look healthy can often be uh, anything but. Um, we are continuing to um, expand and to improve our labelling ar arrangements. Um, and uh, uh, we are looking uh, at the responses to the consultation and considering them very carefully. I now call Baroness Bakewell of Hardington Manville. My Lords, we see from research that there is a direct link between the increasing rise in the incidence of diabetes and the consumption of highly processed foods. In the past, when such evidence was produced of the effect on health of certain products, the government took action to ban television advertising. Cigarette smoking is a prime example. Following on from his answer to Baroness Boycott, can the Minister say whether the government is considering banning all television advertising featuring ultra-processed foods? Uh, my Lords, the Noble Baroness um, makes her point well on, on smoking. However, uh, on the subject of ultra-processed foods, we, we do have an issue that there is no uh, generally recognised agreement on the definition of ultra-processed foods. We are also conscious that we do have to take the British public with us and that regulation and advertising bans on their own do not make the impact <coughs> that, we, that we need to make. Nonetheless, um, as the sugar tax has demonstrated, we are prepared to uh, use uh, regulatory and fiscal means if progress can't be made, and we will um, maintain a review of this area. I now call Lord Whitty. My Lords, will the Minister recognise that the key players in the food system are the large producers, the large supermarkets and the big caterers, and that they between them both set the prices and standards for small producers and farmers and also spend huge amounts of money on advertising, uh, as Baroness Boycott and Baroness Bakewell have said, for ultra-processed food, 20 or 30 times as much as they spend on advertising fresh fruit and veg. Given that the minister is reluctant to go for an advertising ban, how does the government propose getting these large companies to help deliver a more balanced, affordable and nutritious diet rather than, as they do now, facilitate the reverse? My Lord, I think that uh, I take some issue with the noble Lord's uh, demonisation of big companies and his characterisation that our food industry is dominated by a small number of big companies. Actually, the food industry in the UK is extremely diffuse. And when we consider regulation and advertising, 
we have to bear in mind that it is often the small producer, the small farmer, uh, and the small business who are affected by those measures. It has an effect on jobs, it has an effect on business, and it has an effect on tax. So it isn't a, a simple matter to consider. That doesn't mean we aren't serious about this subject, but we do have to bear in mind the effects on the entire supply chain, which includes many important British companies.